and welcome into Making Sense. If you joined us last week, we had Brent McDonald here, and what we're talking about over these two weeks is the fact that each one of the candidates is running for president, and we want to understand from an economic standpoint what the country would look like under each person's leadership. Brent McDonald's here from McDonald Hagen Wealth Management, and last night we looked at the old brother Trump. Yep. And uh, this week we want to look at Hillary, who, you know, basically, uh, she's been a lawyer all her life. Right. She's worked in public service all of her life, but uh, the economy is going to be a big part of what she's going to have to address, isn't it? Well, it, it absolutely is. You know, when we talked about Trump, one thing about him, as I said last week, is he's, he's an interesting character. Right. He tells you exactly what's on his mind. Sure. And, and sometimes it's shocking. With Hillary, she's she's old school. You know, mm -hmm. she's a true politician. She's I, I, I want to encourage people not to read too much into what she's saying because she's trying to win an election. Right. That's what happens in politics. Oh, she, what she's, a surprise. Yeah, yeah. She's a little different, though, I think, than President Obama has been. Mm -hmm. uh, she will be much more like Bill was. Uh, one key thing to remember about Hillary is that she absolutely loves the Wall Street banks, money center yes. banks. She has always supported them. That's a, a key difference. Versa. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I think that uh, if, if she were to win, I think that, number one, the stock market in and of itself would probably be, would settle down everything yes. because the market knows exactly what they're getting with Hillary. She's a known quantity. Mm -hmm. Whereas with Trump, uh, that creates a bit of anxiousness. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think she, just like Trump, will also seek a fiscal stimulus program. Uh, I don't think that it will be a Reagan-type version that we saw when he right. went into the White House, but it's certainly not going to be what we saw with Obama's version when he borrowed a trillion dollars in a special authorized stimulus program mm -hmm. when he came into the White House. So I think it'll be somewhere in between is what, what I'm expecting. and. Uh, I certainly believe that with her relationship with Wall Street that it would be a much welcomed um, type of fiscal stimulus program, but you would see a continuation of social services, an expansion of government at a torrid pace. I mean, there's no question about it. And that's one of the and key... That's, that's the downside. That's the downside, yeah. Yeah. is that expansion of government crowds, uh, crowds out the private sector. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, it's, and think of it as competition for capital. Sure. So the private sector is competing for capital, and then you have the public sector competing for the same capital. Which one of those is going to incubate that capital the best and most efficient? And the only way and the I'm, government gets money to grow is with taxes. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, so if you think about this big pool of money in a mm -hmm. free market system and all that money is moving around in a really efficient way in a true free market environment, and then the government scoops it out through taxation or through other means, and they run it through their own system, which is not a free market system. It creates uh, what I would call huge dislocations, and money slows down. The velocity of money begins to slow down. Mm -hmm. And that's, what, that's the problem that I believe we would see uh, under a presidency like hers. I don't think uh, that it would be a disastrous situation no. because, again, she, she understands economics and can work with Wall Street, mm -hmm. whereas Obama absolutely has not been able to. Uh, so uh, I think tax rates for the top uh, wealthiest people in the country would certainly go higher, yes. uh, which is going to, again, uh, starve out entrepreneurism. Mm -hmm. It'll stifle. Yeah. It'll stifle yes. things. So that's uh, that's the way we look at it, and that's okay. the way we see it. And uh, Good. but you know, obviously, November we'll know for sure. Absolutely, uh, who's going to go <laughs> then in? Then we can and, really look into your crystal ball. That's right. <laughs> well, Brent, thank you so much. Of course, it's McDonald Hagen Wealth Management. Uh, he's been in business about thirty years now. Yeah, twenty nine. Twenty nine right. years, just about at that keep peak. And if that's you right. do want some. Uh, good financial advice, we do encourage you to uh, give them a call. You're always welcome to talk to anybody and uh, usually that consultation is for free at the first, is it not? Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes so you can yeah. get an idea. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate it. And just remember this, again, the election is probably right as we sit here right now, about just about 90 days away. So do your homework, make sure that you're choosing a candidate who has your views. And we'll be right back right after this.